is to provide t-shirts to be given to current young elementary students, teachers, staff, and bus drivers in memory of young elementary coordinated by Miranda Terry. On behalf of the students and staff, we would like to thank Miranda for all the time and energy it took to organize and coordinate this effort, and also Darlene Snyder of Act Now for the printing of the t-shirts. Item 21.2, GAR Foundation. Grant for $7,500 from the GAR Foundation awarded to Springfield High School and Junior High and teacher Andrea Novicki to support the project. What is your word? Developing intention with integrity through vocabulary acquisition. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Miranda's in attendance tonight. Thank you, Miranda, for your work with the t-shirts. Much appreciated. Vote, oh, please, Chris. Mr. Petrie. Yes. Mr. Lance. Yes. Mr. Hess. Yes. Mrs. Dodson. Yes. Mr. Hofer. Yes. You can skip mine now. That was the five years mine. Very good. Yeah. Motion passes. Item 22, Treasurer's Report. Chris essentially already gave that during uh, the five-year forecast discussion. Item 23, Business Manager's Report. Dustin. Good evening. I gave each of your handouts, and there were some available by the agendas there. Um, as we come into summer here, give everybody an update that we will again this summer be offering uh, meals for students ages or children ages one through 18 in the community throughout the summer. The program will change a little bit this summer. Um, each we will be serving each Monday from 5 to 6 p.m. And each child will be given a frozen meal kit containing five breakfast and five lunches um, for the week. Those items are individually packaged and menu and heating instructions are included with that. Um, they will be distributed from door J um, as we have been the, throughout this school year here on the back side of the building. And as a reminder, we've discussed before, but this program is funded through the USDA um, uh, reimbursable grant. We receive reimbursement for each of the meals that we provide um, through this program. So this will be an opportunity for any children ages 1 through 18 in the community um, to receive meals throughout the, throughout the summer. Um, in addition to that, in the um, business department, we're um, getting ready for summer and all the projects with the closure of Young Elementary. There's a lot of projects to be completed, moving moving teachers around the district, getting rooms ready for next next year, moving um, equipment that's necessary and, and all that. So we're ramping up for all those projects this summer. Any questions? Registration for meals or just no, show just, up? Just show up and and get your meals. All right. Thank you, Dustin. Mm -hmm. Item 24, superintendent's report. Thank you, Mr. Hess. I want to, uh, you saw tonight that we have an extensive agenda, but I want to recognize our, um, our retirees. Uh, each summer we, uh, we recognize those folks with a retirement bell, and many of them I uh, will hand deliver uh, to those folks for their fine work in the district through the years. Uh, some of our retirees will be retiring uh, into the next school year, so they'll be recognized the following year. But we have a lot of great people that are retiring, and we want to wish them well in their next part of their journey. And um, sad to lose them, but they're moving on, so we want to wish them well. Also, we want to thank our uh, Dr. Grant for being here tonight and for helping the district out. Uh, special services and the work that you do. Uh, she's great to work with and um, I'm glad we have her. Also, I want to uh, say a, I uh, want to wish uh, our, our principal, high school and junior high principal, Sean Morgan, the best of luck as he goes on to his next uh, experience and he's going over to Manchester as their superintendent. Uh, Mr. Morgan was great to work with. I really enjoyed uh, working with him. He did a great job, and I know he'll do extremely well at Manchester. So we want to wish Mr. Morgan the best over there. Also, I want to thank our uh, new head coach, Coach Tanksley. 
Uh, I'll be down there checking, see how things are going uh, with him. He's going to work in the weight room. He's talking, meeting with the children tomorrow. And um, looking forward to see that uh, program going. So thank you, Coach. And I also want to thank our uh, donations. Each, each uh, agenda, we try to have some donations on there. We recognize them. We want to recognize Miranda Terry for her hard work uh, putting together a fundraiser and um, able then to get uh, t-shirts for uh, young students and uh, some staff members. So thank you, Miranda, for that. And also thank you to, I uh, talked to Andrea Novicki. She's a, a teacher here in the 712 building. We want to thank her for her work putting together a grant uh, that came in first place and she's going to be working with uh, vocabulary with the children. So we certainly want to thank those folks for all the work that they do. Uh, next thing, I want to uh, congratulate our class of 21. Uh, graduation is going to be Friday, May 28th. We're going to be back at the E.J. Thomas Hall at the University of Akron. We have 130 potential graduates, and we're proud of these graduates, uh, their experiences they encountered, and the relationships they gained. I want to wish all of our upcoming graduates the best. And you'll see those folks walk the stage uh, Friday, May 28th. And last thing I have is next Wednesday, May 26th, is the last day of school for our students. This has been a school year like no other before in history. I want to thank our teachers for putting together instructional programs that provided our students with quality learning experiences during these unprecedented times. Thank you to our teachers and all the staff for working together, supporting education, family, and this community. Thank you for all the work that they've done. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sincere. Item 25, items worthy of your note. May 25th, Shrop Classroom Picnics. May 26th, Shrop 6th Grade Outdoor Fun Day. May 26th, students last day. May 26th, end of fourth quarter, second semester. May 27th, teachers last day. May 28th, graduation, E.J. Thomas Hall performing, sorry, E.J. Thomas Performing Arts Hall. June 15th, next regular board of education meeting, 6 p.m. Springfield High School and Junior High Cafeteria. Item 26, citizens' comments. Participants shall be limited to five minutes duration. Do we have any comments this evening? Seeing none, I will move to item 27, board members informal. Would any board members uh, like to say anything this evening? Sure. Chad, we'll start at the end. Yep. Mr. Lance. Uh, first off, I want to congratulate the seniors. It's been I know everyone said last year seniors really missed out, but that was for two months. They missed out on the, all of the end of the school year stuff. This year, the seniors, they, it ended up that they're not really, they didn't really miss anything this year, but it's just, just been a weird year. It's been a weird year for everybody. Um, but for them to just to keep at it with sports, with school, with performances, um, really give a round of applause to them. Uh, second, I want to congratulate everybody in the district, teachers, bus drivers, cafeteria workers, everybody, administration, fellow board members, everybody. It's been, it's been a trying year. Um, had to make a lot of tough decisions. Um, us up here, teachers, you guys, I don't know how you do it sometimes. The stuff you guys do, um, thank you. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed, I will tell you that. Um, it will by a lot in the district but it doesn't go unnoticed by quite a few people so thank you um, everyone else that aren't well seniors included all students just be safe this summer just get back to having fun being kids um, that that's what it's all about school will be there next august or september whenever we start and uh, just enjoy the summer being kids get back to get back to normal uh, as they as they want to say so that's it. Thank you, Chuck. Dave? Yep. I want to start off and, and 
Uh, ditto, Chad, for, for the seniors. It's a lot of hard work and for the teachers. That, uh, some of you went through some grief working with your students this year, so I want to thank you personally. Uh, if you're watching by television or cable, mobile cable, my hat's off to you. You put in more hours and what you're going to get recognized for, but I think the recognition at least to see young adults accelerate in their careers and their pathways. There's one of the art teachers that retired from here said, you guys have picked a noble profession and to see people move forward is very gratifying. So thank you. Um, Miranda Terry and myself, uh, I've talked about this a little bit before the, the, the uh, previous board meeting we were on Zoom. And really what I'd like to do is uh, it, we're gonna team up and we're gonna just ask questions. We're gonna get to a root cause analysis of why in this district we, we don't wanna pass a levy. It's not a complaint session, but just tell me simply, or Miranda, when we, when we set up this meeting, and, and the details will come out soon, is why you don't wanna support a levy for Springfield local schools. Whether it is taxes are too high, teachers are paid too much, administrators are paid too much, uh, we don't see a value in, our, in, the, in taxes that we paid. Uh, maybe there's a disciplinary in the school, the bullying. There are a lot of issues that can be tied into that. And we really want to find out why you're voting no. We're not going to sit there and argue with you. We're just going to listen to you. Now, that said, I don't want to be tied up for eight hours just because you have a, a story. I want it short, sweet, to the point. And I think I want, that way we can bring all this information back to the board administration and then we can figure out what can we address and how we can resolve this. And it's, we, we, we do this in industry. It's called a root cause analysis. And the five whys. Why won't you board, board levy? Uh, it's too expensive. Why is it too expensive? Cool. And then you work it down from that. It's the five whys until you finally get to the end where you cannot think of any more reasons. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, with policy, and we've kicked this as a board, and I want to, uh, for the next board, uh, board workshop, we've always used uh, NEOLA, and we've thought about going to OSBA. And we do need to look at, at some areas where we can save some money. And I think down the road, we, we said that OSBA, their policy review was just as good, if not better, than NEOLA. And possibly we need to look at that again and, and possibly save some money. If that, if that, my return investment's three years on that, then I think we ought to roll with that and really start giving it a serious look instead of just giving it some lip service. But again, change the subject to the right. Congratulations, graduates. Best of luck. Be safe. Uh, work hard. If you're going on to um, college, study hard. If you're going to work, work hard and be safe. And if you're going into the military, thank you for your service in advance. Chad and Dave have covered most everything. Why um, I go, that's why I go first. <laughs> <laughs> we can change that up. That's good. I just want to congratulate the, the graduates. It's going to be good to be back at E.J. Thomas to see the kids uh, graduating in their class together for the last time. You'll, you'll never have that time again. That's true. I get together with about 10 to 12 of my high school cronies once a month well we haven't with we've just started back but it's fun to keep track and I, I ran into one of the girls the other day and I said hey you want to go to lunch with us and she said sure so I asked the other group and they said hey she's a Spartan she can come and be with us but we've 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 stayed pretty close but you never will be with that class again mm -hmm. that's it and I'm looking forward to a good football season um, it's always fun in the fall with the football, and, and I hope the kids with the basketball have a good camp and the cross country and the other ones that we, I think we mentioned, and uh, band camp. I'm hoping we can start this new school year with normalcy because this has been a tough one. I don't regret at all my decision last year. I kind of pushed hard to open school in person um, I don't regret that a bit. I think some of these kids just needed to get back in the classroom, and I think they all really need to get back in the classroom, personally. But with that, 
It's all yours, Larry. I just would like to say thank you to the high school staff for the invitation I got to the Top 25 Banquet, oh. one of the best events of the year. Mm. Right. Uh, as an administrator in a school, you're forced to spend so much time with the kids that are not doing the right thing. It's really impressive to be able to spend some time with kids that do everything right. So the top 25 students really should be congratulated, and I think they've represented their school and their families very well. So I, I appreciated that invitation. It was a great night. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Larry. <clears throat> um, I was, was going to mention a couple things. I uh, wasn't going to dwell too much on the levy results. I know I kind of vented about that at our last meeting. Uh, I do want to thank, we have some volunteers here tonight that put in a lot of their own time on the levy. Uh, Ms. Hannah, Ms. Terry, Mr. Boswell, thank you for all the work that you do on your personal time uh, to try and further our school district. We, we greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, I think even if we do get additional state funding, even if, you know, if, if, if we're able to survive, if, if we had to make additional cuts and are able to survive, you know, I don't want my ch children to just survive. I don't want my neighbor's children to just survive, and I don't want any child in this district to just survive. What we have is not good enough. We have to decide as a community, as a school district, what we want for our children. And I want them to thrive. And to do that, we've got to have some additional dedicated funding. Um, and I'll leave it at that. But I'm very interested to hear uh, what comes out of the listening sessions. Um, I, think, uh, I think we as a community need to decide what we want, and, and I hope we decide that we want to thrive, um, that we want to be the best we can be. I um, also want to take a second to recognize, I know our staff and volunteers are putting in a lot of effort to make the last couple weeks at Young Elementary School really special uh, for those students. And so I want to thank everybody who's working hard to, uh, to make those last couple weeks uh, memorable. I know that closing Young is hard for the staff and it's also very hard for the students that still attend Young. Uh, so thank you for everything everybody's doing to make those last couple weeks at Young special. Um, and then also I just want to congratulate our uh, graduates. It's great to be able to be back in person uh, and have graduation. I felt bad for last year's class missing out on that very special moment uh, in a person's life. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited to see our graduates rock, walk across the stage uh, next Friday. Uh, that is all I have. You know, I'd like to say one more thing. Absolutely. I think, I think a lot of people that vote no are going to vote no. I mean, they're just, they're just going to be negative and they're going to vote no. I think we really need to dwell on the parents, as Chad said, there, if one parent would have voted for every child, we would have had that passed. I think we need to get voter registration out because I think some of these people don't have, aren't registered to vote. I don't think they know the importance of their vote. And I, I, think, I think we really need to dwell on those people, those students, parents, and even grandparents, you know, someone built the schools for them. I mean, my grandparents built the schools for me. My mom and dad built the schools for my kids, and we got to keep it going. You can't have kids out here with, with no education. You just can't do it. And they, and they deserve it. They deserve the opportunity to have a, 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 a good education, and we need to provide that for them. That's all. I just came, came to my mind and agree with Larry with the top 25. That was, that, that, that's always a highlight. Thank you, Mary Lou. If uh, there's no other comments, I will move to item 28, adjournment. It is recommended that the meeting be adjourned at this time. So moved. Second. Move motion. I did. Thank you. Mr. Hofer. Yes. Mr. Dodson. Yes. Petrie. Yes. Mr. Hess. Yes. Mr. Lance. Yes. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody.